We're going to talk now about the weather, what's to come for the weekend. A lot, I know so many people have plans for Not the weekend. Out. Okay, good. Out. Maybe, you know, Saturday, cloudy, kind of ugly, cool, windy. Not the best of day. Sunday, maybe some showers in the morning, and then that should be it. So Sunday looks pretty good. Okay. Right, about 70. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, we're still going to be watching it so closely with all the Easter egg hunts. I know. Sure. It's a big deal. It's coming up. Such Ours a is, big deal. Oh, mine's going to be on Saturday. <laughs> Just, Why? Yeah, Bring out the coats. Like, it's like a neighborhood thing. Yeah, We're doing, yeah a lot of so, neighborhoods um, are doing it. You can't go against Sunday. Okay. All right, all right, I got gotcha. no, no. Okay. Uh, weather looks good. I think I think kids don't care anyway. You oh, know? That's true. That's true. Hey, by the way, that's from Texas. Another piece of video there, and uh, that's from down in uh, southern Texas, down near Gerald, Texas, way down there. And, uh, yeah, big tornado yesterday. That's been rated an EF3 tornado that took place yesterday with some damage. Yeah, look at that shot. There you go. There's some video. Boom. Look at the debris cloud. Uh, pretty intense. And uh, here's the deal. No fatalities down there yesterday. Look at the hail on the background here, right? So here's the deal. You're looking off to the west-northwest. I'm just telling you by the light and what's going on. And then the hail's falling. See how the hail's coming in from the uh, south and west? And then another shot of that Texas tornado. Now this is looking away from them. The sunlight is on it. They have sunshine above them. And that tornado is moving away. It's moving from left to right as far as the mesocyclone, obviously. There's the debris cloud. And that was from Texas yesterday on top of everything else going on down there. All right, let's take a look at it today. Severe weather right now is in the southeast. You know what the green boxes are, right? Tornado watch, and it's a big one, running from Kentucky all the way back down into parts of East Texas. And then the box is flashing tornado and or severe thunderstorm warnings. As of the last 10 to 15 minutes, no confirmed tornadoes in that line today. We've had again storms spinning, uh, but no tornadoes, at least not yet, but uh, still early. Right now, in Oklahoma City, 58 degrees. At This time yesterday, we were 85 degrees. We'll take a 58. We're cooling off. A north wind at 19. Big time cold front came through last night, bringing us the wind and bringing us the dry air. This is Canadian air. Look at that dew point, 23 degrees. The pressure this hour, uh, it is rising. All right, so we're in the upper 50s. It's a north wind. It's nice. It's good. It's cooler than yesterday. Yesterday's too hot. Too hot to be in the 80s and 90s this time of year, right? The rest of us right now, we're looking at 50s. Some 60s going on down south. The wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. A little breezy, a little gusty. The winds will drop off here quickly this evening for two, several reasons. For two reasons, mainly. Storm system pulls away from us. High pressure gets closer to us from the north, and the sun goes down. And basically, the winds will lay down here this evening and tonight. That'll make way for a cold night. Watching energy to the west that will come out on Friday. A little more energy coming in with the jet stream over the weekend into next week. But we're still looking at the latest data. Uh, we're going to get into a severe weather pattern here starting at about eight to nine days. Not this weekend, but the next weekend into the last week of April. We think that we will get into more of an Oklahoma severe weather pattern coming up. So severe weather season is far, far from over. All right, lows tonight. 34 in Guthrie, 36 in Moore, 35 in Newcastle, a light freeze in Piedmont and El Reno. Everybody else, you're going to have some frost around in the morning. Light winds, clear skies. Look at the freeze going on up north. 28 in Ponca City, 30 in Woodward, 25 in Guymon, 37 in Ardmore, 34 in Stillwater. If you live in a low-lying area or a valley, you might touch freezing in the morning even here in the metro, right? So, freeze zone tonight across the north and northwest. Hard freeze in the panhandle in the pink. That's going to be frost. And then after that, a cold start, but a great finish back to the 70s. South winds will pick up. Fire danger tomorrow, not extremely high, but it's going to be yeah, a little bit higher in the west because of that south wind. And then here's Friday. Here's your warm day, right? 80s, 90s, cold front, dry line. But the atmosphere is going to be fairly capped, it looks like right now for a while. But by late Friday afternoon and evening, might have some showers and storms developing into parts of northern and Eastern Oklahoma, and a few of these uh, could be strong, could be severe. All right, we'll be tracking that. Hey, the wind here this evening really drops off by 8 to 9 o'clock. It's a light north wind, no problems there. So the wind will go away this evening. A cold night, 35 in the morning, 72 tomorrow, 85 on Friday. Right now, we'll keep Friday dry. Saturday, slight chance for some showers and clouds, a high of 55. Sunday, some showers in the morning. That should be it. Looking for a high of 70. Next cold front will come in and cool us off a little bit by Monday. Slight chance for showers and storms next Tuesday. And then we got to watch down in here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for that next wave. 
That's in again about 9 to 10 to 11 days down the road. Here we go.